Hey what is up YouTube, welcome to the Custom Adventurous. So today I'll be comparing the AirPods Pro to the Soundpeats wireless earbuds. Alright, so I'll be using the CA scoring method 2.0 to compare these two. We're going to see how these cheap wireless earbuds can compare to the latest and greatest from Apple. Alright, getting right into the packaging of the headphones. They both come in pretty small boxes, but one is black and the other is white. For the AirPods, there's an image of the headphones on the front of the box. For the Soundpeats, there's also a small image of the headphones, and there's a name on the front. For the sides of the AirPods, there's Apple logos and their name on the top. Opening the two at the same time, you get the headphones right away for the Soundpeats. But for the AirPods, you get the design by Apple and California insert. After that, you get the headphones. Removing the headphones, for the AirPods, you get extra ear tips and a charging cable. For the Soundpeats, you get a charging cable and extra ear tips also. And there's also a manual at the bottom. Now for the design of the case. They both come in pretty small cases. Although the one on the AirPods Pro is smaller than the, than the Soundpeats, the design of the case for the Soundpeats is something I have never seen before. They don't have a lid on their case. I mean, it's a cool design, but, it, but I can see some possible problems. The AirPods Pro have a case that has a lid. It takes up one third of the case. The Soundpeats use micro USB to charge, where the AirPods use lightning cable. The case overall for the Soundpeats feels pretty cheap. It's really light and the plastic quality doesn't match that of the AirPods. For the Soundpeats, when they're in your pocket, I feel like they would get really dirty because they don't have like a, a lid. It's like you just lint and all sorts of stuff in your pocket would get in there. Where on the AirPods, they are closed off and the dust can't affect it. For the Soundpeats, there are no logos on the case and neither for the AirPods. Now for the design of the earbuds. The AirPods have their infamous stem. For the Soundpeats, they have a pretty basic shape. It's pretty much like a rectangular prism with a stem on it. Not the best I've ever seen, but not the worst. The AirPods have all sorts of sensors and grills, where the Soundpeats, there's just one speaker driver part, a little hole for the mic, and then there's two contact points for charging. They both stay in via magnets. Thank goodness they have magnets because the Soundpeats don't have a lid. Personally, I prefer the design of the AirPods, it just seems a bit less clunky. Also for the Soundpeats, they have a little LED on the outside and that indicates when it's pairing and charging. The Soundpeats also have a button on the side that does the touch functions. For the AirPods, they have a taptic pad on the side of the stem that you squeeze them for the touch functions. Now for the price of the two. As you can probably tell, these Soundpeats aren't the highest end headphones. They come in at 30 US dollars, which is very cheap, where the AirPods come in at 250 dollars. Quite a large gap there. Now for the audio quality. After listening to the two side by side, this is my opinion. The AirPods Pro sound better, but not by much. The Soundpeats still sound really good. I mean, I could hear the music clearly and they had decent bass. I would say where the AirPods beat them is in the vocal details and the quality of the bass. But other than that, they are very similar. Now for the battery life. For the AirPods, you can get around four to five hours of audio playback with an additional 24 hours with the case. For the Soundpeats, you can get around three hours of audio playback with an additional 12 hours with the case. Now for the connectivity. All right, so now we're measuring how far the two headphones get from the phone before they start disconnecting or anything like that. Let's do it. Bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, so now I'll be showing the pairing process between the two headphones on iOS and on Android. So yeah, let's get this started. All right, we're gonna start with the iPhone. All right, so we're gonna start with the AirPods. Open the case, press the button down. Just like that, we are paired. 
All right. Now for these sound peats, you just take them out of their case. They should pop up right there. All right. Okay. And just like that, they're paired. And before we switch to the Android phone, we're going to see how long it takes for them to pair once you're pulling them out of the case. All right, we'll start with the sound peats. All right. Now for the AirPods. All right. Now we will see how long it takes for them to pair on the Android phone. We will start with the sound peats. There they are. Just like that, they are paired. All right. And for the AirPods. Now they are paired. Now we're going to see how long it takes for them to connect once you pull them out of the case. Start the sound peats. All right. Now for the AirPods. All right. There doesn't seem to be any Bluetooth lag between the between these sound peats, so you can listen to them and the words will match up. Same with the AirPods. One thing about these sound peats is you cannot use them separately, so you can only use them at this either the right earbud or the both of them at the same time, which to me I don't really like that as much, but yeah. Now for the mic quality. All right, so in my ears right now are the AirPods Pro, and this is the mic quality you can expect from them. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I hope they sound pretty good. Um, they should be a step up from the previous generation. And yeah, I will also be including the uh, background noise. And we're going to see how they do with that. Ready, get set, go. All right, now we have background noise of a stadium. And hopefully it sounds pretty good still. And you can just hear me talking. And uh, yeah, so testing, testing, one, two, three. Turn the volume up even more, as high as it can go, and uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so in my ears right now are these Soundpeats wireless earbuds, the ones that don't have a lid on their case, you know, and this is the mic quality you can expect from them. They're just in my ears as if I'll be like on a phone call or anything like that. So testing, testing, one, two, three. I hope they sound pretty good. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm also be doing the crowd effect, so we're going to see how they sound with that. Three, two, one. All right, we have the crowd effect in the background. And uh, this is my buddy, I'm them. Testing, testing, and uh, three. I hope you can hear my voice, even through the mic, and on the noise effect. Uh, yeah. Now for the features and cool things about the headphones. This is where the AirPods really stand out. They just have way more features. They have ear sensors, wireless charging, noise cancellation, ambient mode, hey Siri support, and the sound peats don't have any of these things. They do connect automatically when you pull them out of the case. They have touch functions, and that's kind of about it. Their touch functions are single press on either side to play or pause music, double press on either side to go to the next song, triple press on either side to go to the previous song. For the AirPods, there are single squeeze on either side to play or pause, double squeeze on either side to skip to the next song, and triple squeeze on either side to go to the previous song. Squeeze and hold to change between ambient and noise cancellation. Alright, now for my personal opinion. Alright, so this is my personal opinion about these headphones. Personally, for the sound peats, I, I just think you can get better value for your money. Like, $30. I've seen better ones that for $30 than these ones. Not being able to use both earbuds at once is kind of a deal breaker for me also uh the the case is a little weird but i think there definitely are better options out there and i i don't really recommend this one as much make sure to like subscribe and peace